Have you ever borrowed money from others? People take out loans all the time to buy houses, cars, school fees, and all sorts of things. And it is not just people, big companies also borrow and the government does it too. When the government borrows, it's called public debt or sovereign debt. Public debt, sometimes also referred to as government debt, represents the total outstanding debt of a country's central government. In the Philippines, the government is strongly pushing for the creation of the Maharlika Wealth Fund as it faces constraints to finance new projects, especially after the country's outstanding debt jumped to a new record high of P13.64 trillion in October. Based on the Bureau of the Treasury data, the government increased the debt stock by almost a percent from a month earlier after it added P123.92 billion in new debt in October, largely due to the net availment of both local and external loans. Where did the Philippine government borrow money? Contrary to popular belief, the public debt is not driven by foreign borrowings, but rather domestic debt, which takes up the bulk of 71% of the total. Domestic debt comes chiefly from the issuance of securities, like treasury bonds and bills, and lately short-term loans from the Banco Central in Pilipinas. External debt constitutes the remaining 29% of total national debt. These are government borrowings in the form of loans from foreign institutions such as multilateral agencies as well as the issuance of securities abroad. Hence, while debt has been increasing as of late, external debt is still overshadowed by domestic debt. Filipinos are in fact the government's biggest lenders. Should Filipinos worry about debt? While it is understandable for the public to be concerned with the total debt owed by the national government, experts said it could be not as concerning as other people think. First off, economist and Marikina representative Sela Kumbo answered the question, is it wrong for a government to borrow money? It's not wrong for a government to borrow because, like a business with not enough capital, they can borrow money. The government, when they want to expand a program, they can also borrow said Quimbo. To help weigh in on the government's debt, instead of focusing on the debt figures, Quimbo advised looking first at the country's debt to GDP ratio, which compares a country's debt to its financial output. It is possible that the country has a huge debt but also has a high output, that means, the country can pay, Quimbo explained. To conclude, the state, where its citizens are always informed about the government's undertakings, must always ensure that the state takes full responsibility for paying debts and serve the public at large accordingly.